no, 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 this is all wrong. Mr. Rhodes, we have a problem. What do you need, Tyler? We have nobody for desk. What do you mean we have nobody for desk? What about Charlie May? Charlie May's testing. What about Mage? She's not here. Lucas? I hate to be the very bad news, but he's no longer with us. What about Evan? We're almost sports. Well, why don't you and Tank just do it? We're on strike. Fine. I'll do it myself. Alright, kid, get up. Give me how we roll. Dang it, come on. Welcome back, LHS. I'm Mr. Rhodes, and this is Blue Devil News. Tickets for tomorrow night's basketball game can be purchased at the bank for $5 today and tomorrow. LHS Humane Society is still selling candy grams. Brady's got the info for you. The LHS Humane Society is selling candy grams for the holiday season. They cost $2 each or $3 with delivery and a personalized note. We interviewed Ms. Jordan for more information. I am Ashley Jordan and I sponsor the Humane Society here at Loveland High School. Uh, the Humane Society supports animals who don't have a voice, so we support local animal shelters and donate our time to those animal shelters and their events. So we're selling candy grams to um, increase our funds in the Humane Society's account, but also to uh, send money to those local air animal shelters. And it will go through December the 12th. Just buy your candy grams. They're $2 a piece, uh, unless you want them delivered, and then they're $3. Talk to a member of the Humane Society, Miss Wilson, or Miss Jordan to order your candy grams. Book Club is also selling candy canes. They are $1 or $1.50 if you want a personalized message. You can get them from a Book Club member or from room B101. <clears throat> Back by popular demand, the junior class is once again selling crew neck sweatshirts for $20. You can purchase them at the bank or from Miss Alsop in B305. This year's spring musical is now Mary Poppins. Due to unforeseen circumstances, dance auditions have been moved to next Monday. Vocal auditions are today, starting at 3 o'clock in the choir room, A704. The 7th Annual Snowball is next Saturday in the Central Staircase. The dance starts at 6 p.m. Tickets are available at the bank for $15. Attire is semi-formal. Final exams will be December 19th and 20th for students who are not exempt. First and second block will test on Monday, third and fourth on Tuesday. TN Ready testing resumes this week. Math is testing again tomorrow. Students who are not testing will start the day in second block and stay there until 10.05, then go back to first block. Scheduled have been flexible, so teachers, keep an eye on your emails. Now let's check in with Jalen for the weather. Hey there, Blue Devil News. Today's weather is rainy. It's going to be raining when you get home. Do be careful on the way home if you're driving because it's going to be wet out there. And there's a possible threat for flooding for the rest of the night and into tomorrow. So do be warned about that on the way to school tomorrow. Have a good day. Back to you guys. Thanks, Jalen. In global news, WNBA star Brittany Griner has been released from Russian custody as part of a prisoner exchange. She had been... She had been in custody for months due to cannabis charges and was released in exchange for a Russian arms dealer, Victor Bout. Now let's hear from Evan with today's sports news. Thanks, y'all. Our Blue Devils take on Galton tomorrow at home. Girls play at 6 and the boys will follow up. Girls Bowling won against Beach 13.5 to 9.5 to earn the District 11 championship. Congrats to Emma Allison, Kayla Hamlet, Alyssa Weiser, and Bailey Brewer on being named All District Team, and the LHS Bowling coaching staff for being named for being named District Staff of the Year. Next Wednesday, Ella Pine will be signing with Barry College for pole vaulting. The signing will take place during Focus in the gym. World Cup quarterfinals are this weekend. 
For more on the action, here's Austin, Grayson, and Jesse. The World Cup is currently going on in Qatar, but you may be asking what it is. It's the largest sporting event in the world, and it only occurs every four years. It's split up into eight groups where the two teams with the most points from their group move on. The group stages wrapped up on Friday, December 2nd, and the round of 16 starting on the 3rd. With the round of 16 already wrapped up, these are their scores. On Saturday, the Netherlands defeated the U.S. 3-1, and Argentina beat Australia 2-1. On Sunday, France beat Poland 3-1, and England shut out Senegal 3-0. On Monday, Croatia and Japan were tied at 1 at the end of extra time, and Croatia won on penalties 3-1. Then Brazil beat South Korea 4-1. On Tuesday, Morocco put out an upset over Spain 3-0 on penalties after a scoreless 120 minutes. Portugal beat Switzerland 6-1. The two teams that won each day will play each other now in the quarterfinals, which will start on Friday with the eight teams remaining. With there only being three rounds left, it is a very exciting time for football and soccer fans. Tonight's Thursday night football matchup will see the Las Vegas Raiders heading into SoFi to take on the Rams. The Rams recently grabbed Baker Mayfield off of waivers, but they aren't sure if he'll be ready to play by tonight. So we might see John Wolford. That's all we have for sports today, LHS. Back to y'all. Thanks, Evan. That's all for you today, LHS. I'm the teacher, and this has been the news to you from the white and blue.